what's going on toxic gamers you know it's serious when the homie tyron magnus is making a video on the assassin's creed shadows of the bbc though yay we got the homie asmund gold chiming in we got the homie mr maddie please everybody's covering the leaks we got the ghost of uh, sushis uh, ghost of tsushima ghost of tampon ghost of yore whatever you guys want to call it but assassin's creed shadows of the bbc ubisoft is in a tough spot right now i never thought that we're gonna be here to talk about it once again and once again and once again like the video if you love your mama like the video if you love god shout out to all of you man for actually hitting a thousand likes on yesterday's video man i can never repay you guys you guys are absolutely killing it but i want to dive right into it first of all shout out to the homie asmund gold check this out roll it huge report on assassin's creed shadows delay from tom henderson tom is one of the biggest game leakers and the one who yeah, reported on it. ubisoft ceo internal memo before the earnings call even yeah. happened uh, this yeah, is eve eve gimo eve gimo that's the ceo of uh, ubisoft this is a person like this guy does a lot of insider news this is his take on it from what he's found yasuke is not going to be removed the team has been actively addressing many of the historical and cultural Oh, wait for it. Apparently, there are new reports saying that that he might be actually removed. But do I do I believe it? Probably not. OK, no, Diddy. I don't believe it. I don't believe concerns it. changing some of Yasuke's story and how he's portrayed in the game. That actually is kind of a big deal. Fixing architectural details and ensuring the game is historically grounded while fitting into Assassin's Creed universe. Such mm. issues should have been caught internally before the game's reveal, especially given Ubisoft's strict asset approval process. These issues yeah. fell through the cracks because historical experts were brought into the project much later than usual for oh man and they were screaming for the longest amount of time that yes this game is going to be historically accurate then people went crazy they said that it's fiction bro it's fiction then some devs came out said that we were trying to make it historically accurate and you know look at that like so we got the hey, hey, hey whoa bbc samurai bbc samurai this is what ubisoft did so even the kids in this game like the little japanese kids out here just like pointing at like him look at that damn bro like this thing is crazy and of course hip-hop music plays while he's in feudal japan in, like hundreds of years ago right when hip-hop don't even exist didn't did not even exist and you know they were like first of all I gotta salute to captain bbc hip-hop music plays as he just destroys all the asians uh asians in this game like exactly right here check this one out persecutor greed cannot rule this village not while i have breath in my lungs and a blade in my Damn. head i said kill him yeah like bruh who thought this was who thought this was okay bro who thought hip-hop music plays just because he black damn this thing is crazy bro like the ubisoft really thought this was good you, you yeah we we're talking feudal japan and the craziest thing is that the leaks are saying initially they had a japanese man for this game but later on they swapped to the the, the homie yasuke after the blm situation yeah like that, that that's the reports going around but wait for it project of this magnitude and that there were miscommunication between the teams and cutting corners when it came to the approval process to meet deadlines were also in play yeah i could easily assume that to be true they hired cultural consultants but got dei scammers and scud well either way they need to get their money back the game is currently not yeah. at a stage that it needs to be for release and some tweaks to gameplay mechanics and elements are going to need and take some time to incorporate of course right anybody could have assumed that uh while well, some of these issues were highlighted in recent play tests and mock reviews these are end of development issues that will take a little longer Seven yeah, developers working on the project said they have been pushing for this delay for some time, and there's okay. Seven developers. Shout out to the seven devs that saw the light, man. Like, damn. Don't they have like hundreds, if not thousands, of devs? Only seven saw that. Okay, only seven thought that. Yeah, bro. Like this game needs to be delayed. I don't think it's ready, bro. Only seven. Yikes. Yikes. Our situation had even been heard at other studios in the company. Wow. As for why Ubisoft headquarters continues to ignore developers on every level, the executive committee of board directors will decide in a review. 80% of the 40 Ubisoft developers think this ends in no change or layoffs. I would not be surprised about that. Tom also added that even though this delay should be sufficient, Ubisoft might postpone the release even more if needed. And because of these delays, the entire Assassin's Creed pipeline will now be disrupted, but the AC oh. multiplayer project and the Black Flag remake are still in development. They okay. can't fix this in three months i think that you're right i yeah. think that this three month delay uh, and what we're hearing is that it can be delayed even further so this is just like they only made it sound they only said three months for now so they do not 
piss off investors. I mean, the investors are still like pulling out their money. What we're hearing is that it's it might be longer than that. So maybe come January, you know, like a couple of weeks before, maybe two weeks before the the release, they might delay it even more. That's always a possibility. But wait for it. Will do nothing. You want to know what other game got a three month delay? World of Warcraft Shadowlands, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, Diablo 4, Stolen yeah. Bones. And I think a three month delay is like nothing inside yeah. of the scope of like an eight year project or a seven year project. Mm -hmm. Like you have seven years to work on this game and you think adding three more months is going to yeah. change it? Seven years, bro. Oh my God. <laughs> I just, I'm not seeing it, guys. I'm just not. Are they removing the trap music? I have no idea. Greed cannot rule this village. Not when <laughs> yeah, I have all my lungs and a blade in my head. Bruh, I swear, bro. I swear. And I also want to shout out the homie Smash JT. Check this out. You're not going to believe it, Roller. Those of us who have been around the video game industry for a while would say we've seen some pretty wild rumors in our day. Yeah, All the yeah. way back to the IGN April Fool's jokes and Street Fighter 2 being able to play as the end bosses and telling all your schoolyard friends, yeah, I saw it in a magazine. It's true. And then it always ended up being fake. As much as you thought it was the most outlandish, ridiculous thing in the world, Maybe it's true, but then we get to the modern era of gaming and the rumors that are going around right now are becoming so ridiculously insane that I'm like, there's actually no feasible way that this is true. But then again, <laughs> it just might be. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash uh, Well, what's going on? Not much, brother. Not much. Assassin's Creed Shadows has had a checkered history throughout development, and that's giving it credit. And there's been quite a bit of controversy surrounding one of the main... Uh, I mean, say it, 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 say it, it ain't so quite a bit. I would say, bro, like this game, everybody's talking about this game. It's been months and new stuff keeps on popping. But right as we get down to it real quick, man, I need to shout out... Oh, sh oh crap, what the hell? Damn, so the homie's like... You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the homie's like, say what? Say what? Salute to Captain BBC, man. But shout out to all of you guys. Mythical Riz, the Great White, for following over on the Instagram. If you guys want to help support the channel, consider becoming a member and check out the Instagram page. Link is in the pinned comment, okay? All right, let's get back to the content here, boo-boo. Main protagonist, Yasuke. Yasuke. And how he's a black, quote-unquote, samurai in feudal Japan. Who beats up Japanese people hey. to rap music. Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, hey, 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 whoa, tra tranquilo, papi. What? Tranquilo, man. Damn. Pop soundtrack only for him. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it, but I didn't really see it. Greed cannot rule this village. Ah, Not while I have breath in my lungs and a blade in my head. Breath in my lungs, not till I have breath in my lungs and blade in my hands. Okay. Damn, that's deep. Brought to you by. Yeah. This is Ubisoft, bro. Man, I, guys, I apologize on their behalf. And it really didn't sit well with a lot of people in Japan. Actually, worldwide. Anyone that wasn't knee deep engulfed in DEI agendas was looking at this like, who the hell came up with this idea of yeah. a character beating up old Japanese people to rap music with a black samurai? This is the most insane thing ever. Coming from Ubisoft, a company Bruh. saying that they're paying respects to Japan all along the way beheading the Chinese yo, people with this guy. Yo, paying respects to Japan. Meanwhile, you guys are killing the Japanese in their own land, in their own special J Shadows of Japan, or, uh, you know, a game site in Japan. <laughs> Bruh! Like, what the hell? Yo! Say it in so, man. Like, yes, bro. And of course, like, gamers looking like this right now, man. A lot of people are like, damn! Damn, this like is crazy. Like everybody beefing right now, man. The beefs are going down. Like some of the best beefs I've seen in in years, bro. I don't think any game will be able to top this one. I don't think any game will be able to top the Concord level disaster. But somehow it gets worse and worse. It is beyond parody how far this has gone. But now 
with the latest rumors of Ubisoft backing up and backing off with what they were doing with initially putting this game out in November, they have now kicked it back to Black History Month in February 2025. And if that what? wasn't funny enough, now there are rumors saying that it's actually not going to come out then either. That was just an initial kickback to ease the investors' minds, you know, quell yeah. their fears and let them know the game's still on track. It's feature complete. We just yeah. need to polish it up a bit to make sure. So Simon is like game direction for stealth. Okay. Bumbleclad Brothers! Bumbleclad. looks great. I mean, imagine like going stealth mode with Yasuke, bro. Bro, he's like seven feet tall in the game. I, I wish I was like, uh, yeah, donate a little bit. Yeah, where are my short kings at though? Shout out to my short kings, man. I'm a short king as well myself, guys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I, yeah, like donate some of those inches, brother. Like, damn, hey, you don't need to be seven feet tall. But yeah, like try going stealth with a seven feet BBC guy in, in this game, bro. Like, yeah, but yeah, it's gonna work well. It's gonna work well. Stel you, you had one job and you failed at it, bro. Stealth, my ass, bro. Great, it runs perfectly so there are no issues with it. When in reality, behind the scenes, Apparently, Ubisoft is looking at this game saying, we need to completely remove Yasuke and replace him with a new character from Japan and redo the entire game. No! JT. Hit that Whoa. subscribe, give me a like, and check out SmashJT. Wow, yo, tranquilo, papi. papi um, the full me. article breaking down how Ubisoft is now rumored to be investigating Yasuke and if this is a main protagonist they will be moving forward with or if they're going to completely remove him from the game. What do you mean investigating Yasuke? You suckers, when I say you suckers, I mean like Ubisoft. You suckers clowned on his legacy, bro. You suckers completely... Like, what the actual hell? Y'all suckers made him who he was not. Y'all suckers were like, he black, so he... Yeah. You made him... Yeah. Bro, if he was in real life, then makes sense, but he was not. Guys, you need to understand, Yasuke is no longer with us, okay? He 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 passed away years and years ago, like hundreds of years ago. And Ubisoft, they completely disrespect, uh, disrespected this man, bro. And now they're like, okay, let's investigate. You guys, you suckers are crazy, man. Holy hell, bro. And instead replace him with a white Japanese dude that should have been there from day one. The news that Ubisoft is rumored to be making major changes to the portrayal of Yasuke in Assassin's Creed Shadows has sent shockwaves throughout the entire gaming community. After announcing a three month delay, Ubisoft is appearing to now be undertaking the Herculean task of altering not just minor details and polishing the game up, but potentially Changing an entire character arc in the game that is supposed. Okay, so you think F Felix uh, would be uh, changé? Maybe il va changer. Peut-être qu'il va changer le jeu. Peut-être qu'il va, you know, annuler. Non, ils vont pas annuler pour de vrai. Là, ils vont juste uh, faire. Uh, ils vont juste péter dans uh, dans le studio. Ils vont sniff le pét le pétage or however you say. <laughs> I was basically saying that Ubisoft is out there like just farting and they're smelling their own farts, bruh. These things are crazy. In Urdu, real quick, yar kutte deo bacho, yar haram zado. Tum logon ne satya naas kar diya, yar BBC ko tak nii tum logon ne choda, yar BBC ko to chhod do. Arey chutiya samjaye kya, yar pehe chhu kutte deo bacho, ta nu sharam nii aandi. Doob ke chullo par pani mein doob ke mar jo. Alright, let's get back to it, guys. The feature complete. If we are to believe rumors started by Tom Henderson and Insider Gaming dropping this megaton bomb and you know just one person saying it i'd be like ah that's just a rumor one yeah, offset yeah, dude you know, that's just yeah, saying this whatever, one thing right? that maybe yeah. he's speculating maybe there's a one-off person at ubisoft saying they were talking about this but this but... rumor has been corroborated in fact it started with endymion a day before when he made a video that completely blew up i watched it when it had like a thousand views it's already in the multiple hundreds of thousands of views now talking about how he had an insider at ubisoft talking to him about how the game completely lost its way and why yasuke was put in there in the first place. But before I get to Endymion, let's talk about Tom Henderson's take because as somebody who's worked in the game industry, if you're not familiar, I was a game tester at Sony. I've been a game master for EverQuest. I've worked in the recruiting industry for multiple game companies along the west coast of the United States. And never have I seen a situation where a game got put on ice to completely remove and inject a new 
different protagonist that was feature complete. That is absolute insanity. Anyone who's worked on a game knows that making major narrative changes or character changes late in development is unthinkable, to put it nicely. It's like trying to fix the foundation of a house after you've already put the roof on it. It's, yeah. Yeah, possible, but it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it takes- uh, Honestly, at this point, I don't know what they could do. Yes, okay, if you remove it, apparently what we're hearing is that they already had made like a Japanese dream because the game is set in Japan. So they were looking to make like a real game, real Japanese game with a Japanese samurai. And they had a Japanese protagonist, like male, main Japanese protagonist. Uh, and then later on, because of BLM and other situation, they, they changed it to Yasuke and uh, a BBC samurai. They were like legendary BBC samurai. That's what they said, right? So legendary samurai, they wanted a black legendary samurai, samurai. Uh, and nothing wrong with a black samurai, but it's just that guys, like we're talking feudal Japan, bro. And y'all, y'all suckers made him black. Just cause he black, y'all suckers made him black. And what we're hearing is that he was not even a samurai at that time. We're talking feudal Japan, and as he is, uh, y y you know what I mean, right? Like as he's slashing all the Japanese in the game. On their own land, hip hop music plays in the background. Like, bro, you cannot be tone deaf with that, bro. Like, damn. So as he's destroying all the Japanese people in the game, hip hop music plays in the background. Yeah, just because he black. That that's what Ubisoft said. These things are crazy, bro. It's a lot damn. more work than just redoing something. Assassin's Creed Shadows was initially touted as a feature complete game with an official release date that has now been pushed back to Black History Month in February 2025. Yeah, yeah see like that's why I, I don't think uh... Yeah, th this is why I don't think they're gonna remove Yasuke. I don't think that three months is not enough first of all and secondly they're releasing it in Black Month, uh, Black History Month. So they're gonna, like, anybody who says that, bro, this is not accurate, this is not historically accurate, you also guys are being racist towards black people by making all of them in the game, and also hip playing hip-hop music just because he black. If you say that, they're gonna be like, nah, you are the racist one, right? So th that that's, I, I guess this is the route they're going. Where my black homies at, though, yo? Where my black homies, where my Asian homies at? Where my white homies, where my brown homies at? Where my, where my people at, though? You feel what I'm saying? Like, are we on the same page? You guys understand? You guys seeing, like, what's going on? Yeah, so they're, uh, I think this is where they're going with this one. I think they're gonna release it in Black History Month. And if you say something, if you criticize it, or you try to say, bro, this is, uh, like, you guys are doing black people, Asian people dirty with this game. Y yeah, they're just gonna say, bro, you are being racist, bro. You are being racist. I think that's, uh, that's the play, that's the card they're trying to play right now. Here we are, witnessing Ubisoft scramble to rewrite Yasuke's story to maybe not completely remove him, but move him from being a main protagonist to being kind of a side character story Man. in a greater quest. According to Tom Henderson, he said, but first, let me address some of the wild rumors about Yasuke. He's not going to be removed. However, uh -huh. sources have said that the team has been actively addressing many of the historical and cultural concerns, which started before the game's reveal following external playtests and were accelerated further following the game's initial reveal and mass feedback. This includes changing some of Yasuke's story and how he's portrayed in the game, fixing architectural details and ensuring the game is historically grounded while fitting into Assassin's Creed universe. Imagine there was no backlash and the game came out. Oh man, because right now I think we're gonna get a little bit of their watered down version because like whatever they had was probably gonna be hella offensive. You guys got you guys gotta understand that J Japan is investigating the game. They said like the 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 deity, I believe that's how you say it, right? So the, their government their government was like they are investigating this Assassin's Creed Shadows of the BBC situation, and they said that once the game comes out, they're gonna investigating it further. Why? Because yes, then the entire game would be out, and they're gonna see what's going on. And based off the rumors that are going around, it feels like that Ubisoft is just gonna water down all the offensive stuff and they're gonna make sure it's like a little bit toned down like that's what it sounds like to me so when it comes out it's not gonna be too bad could you imagine none of this happened or they were not promoting this game the way it is and maybe we didn't have this amount of backlash and the game came out 
and then we had this amount of backlash holy crap like then we would have had the entire game and it would have been worse it would have been 10 times worse i think they're now gonna be toning it down quite fundamentally though these are issues that should have been caught internally before yeah, the game's yeah, reveal yeah, yeah. Yeah, especially yeah. given ubisoft's strict access mm. approval process from my perspective, this undertaking is Jonathan. no less than a mad dash to rectify years of purposeful oversight. Something that should have been addressed long ago. Something that I and many other YouTubers out there, and hell, most of Twitter as well, have been saying from day one. What the hell is going on here? There are full Reddit threads talking about this. Everyone yeah. on message boards. Why did Ubisoft go this way? What yeah, the why? heck is this why? pandering? Why are they injecting like, this DEI why? so far brutally in your face? And if you say no to it, they're just going to call you a racist and a bigot because you're the problem. Yeah. It doesn't work anymore. And Ubisoft is learning that in mm. real time. Mm. This isn't just mm. about mm. tweaking dialogue or cutting a problem. Yo, from the angle, that he looked like Mark Ruffalo for a second, bro. <laughs> Damn. Automatic line. It's about completely restructuring the mechanics, the narrative. Uh, Brooklyn narrative direct. Direction, okay, direction for the narrative, Brooke, okay. Narrative arcs, and even the character's identity to align better with the expectations of the accuracy in Feudal Japan, going alongside the audience sensitivity, especially many of the very upset people in Japan that were looking at this as a DEI money grab. This kind of level of change requires reworking the design of multiple systems, recontextualizing the game's content, all of which is very expensive, time-consuming, and highly prone to generating more issues in addition to the ones they already had in the process, none of which Ubisoft has endless amounts to afford in the first place. Yeah. And when Indebian was talking about this on his channel, his insider had told him specifically, quote, the game did first include a- <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's Indebian, man. Damn, homie looking fly right now. Damn. Yeah, shout out to the homie uh, Indebian, man. Crazy lad, bro. Crazy guy. But hold up. Wait a minute. What did he- what did he say? His channel, his insider had told him specifically, quote, the game did first include a male Japanese main character, but they were swapped sometime during 2020, according to my source, for Yasuke instead. He continued, they said that Ubisoft was heavily influenced by the socio-political events of the time with stuff like, and no I'm not kidding, George Floyd dying, the riots, and Black Lives Matter exploding in support. Oh, Think about that for a second. This is specifically telling you that Ubisoft was going out of their way to inject a black protagonist into a game where he does not belong, just trying to pander to what they thought was going to be a financially lucrative angle. He later added, Ubisoft may have opted to include Yasuke in order to pander to identity politics because of Black Lives Matter. To which Hypnotic posted on Twitter, the resemblance is uncanny. Oh. And yes, this is an altered photo of George Floyd instead of Yasuke. Gamers still are undefeated when it comes to memeing. The rumor changes here reflect a clear attempt to satisfy any of the critics who raise concerns over the original portrayal of Yasuke in the first place. Concerns that range from the game's historical inaccuracies to, wait for it, giving Yasuke a hip hop musical theme. And I wish I was making that up. But no, this is something that is not just in the trailers of the game that Ubisoft was like, whoa, we probably shouldn't have done that. Apparently in the game itself, he had his own rap track. Really Ubisoft? <laughs> You get in the car with them, they turn on the hip hop channel and then they look at you. This one's for you. Who do you think you are? Oh my God, bro. It, low key, the beat is fire, but it's like, it's the same thing, right? Good message, but wrong messenger. So the beat is fire, but bro, like, bro, we in Japan, brother. We in feudal Japan, sickers. What y'all be doing with that, man? And no, I'm not offended by this. I'm embarrassed by the pathetic yeah, yeah. pandering that they were trying to do, thinking that they were doing a good thing for the black community instead yeah. of pissing on millions of Japanese people. Yeah, shout out to my black homies out there. They be waking the hell up right now, man. Like even the yeah, even the homie Tyrone Magnus went crazy, right? Like we saw that. Little Japan. It's like, how narrow-minded do you have to be to do what Ubisoft was doing and not think, hmm, maybe this might not look right to the people who are not part of what we're trying to inject. The lessons Ubisoft should have learned from the past blunders are falling on deaf ears at this point. And Star Wars Outlaws has been a flop. Even Ubisoft themselves admitted this. And I talked yeah, about that crazy. in a previous video. Guys, whatever you do, do not watch this video. We got like a massive ghost of Yoda, a ghost of tampon situation raging wildfires right now. Apparently, gamers have discovered even more stuff. So, if you don't want to see, do not watch this video. Check out the video on the left instead, guys.